Hey everyone, what's up? It's DJ Unprotected. So this video, I'm going to show you how I create and lay out my drums and my session so I can prepare myself for the creative flow and mixing in eight simple steps. Okay, so step one, we are going to add eight mix channels. So go in your tool window and just drag over eight mix channels. Okay, now step two, we're going to label and change the color of these bad boys. And that just helps keep things organized as you're creating music. So first thing, we're going to shift click all these. And we're going to track color. I like red for all my drums. Change it to red. And now we're going to label. Okay, so now that you've got all of your mix channels labeled here, we are going to now insert our instrument. So first thing we're going to bring in is a Kong drum designer. Hold shift and click and drag it over so that it doesn't automatically patch itself. And then we're also going to bring over a redrum drum computer. And same thing, hold shift, bring it over so it doesn't patch together. Okay, so we're going to keep things organized here and use the redrum as basically the trigger and sequencer for the Kong. So that means the signal from the redrum is going to trigger your sample that you have in the Kong. And I'll show you how we do that. So to match that up, we're going to do gate out to gate in, and we're going to match them up. The way I do it is 1 through 4. Five, six, seven, and ten. And we're just going to connect them. Okay, so we've got the gates connected so that the signal can pass to the Kong. Now we need to load up the Kong so that way it can play our samples and output. So we're going to tab over. And we're going to load up the NN Nano Sampler. It's my favorite for loading drum patches and to get things started in my beats. And so we're going to load these up on each channel. 1 through 4, 5, 6, 7, and 10. Okay, so we've got all these NN Nano Samplers loaded up on each of our pads. It's easy for me. I like the this, but I mean, you can choose whichever you'd want or how you want to do it. This is just how I roll. Okay, so now we need outputs. So for the first one, we're going to assign all these outputs for our samples. And basically, we're just going to start with output 3 and 4 and so forth. 2 is going to be 5 and 6. 3, 7 and 8. Even though these are, con um, you know, assigned outputs, we're not going to hear anything until we actually patch the cables in the back. Now, here's your outputs for the Kong. And so what I do for my drums, I always connect them via mono because uh, if I don't do stereo, then it allows me to layer my drums more and I can create more effects. And, you know, most of the time, you know, the drums, they don't need to be in stereo. And a lot of samples are actually in mono anyway. So that's just, you know, my preference. But you can do whatever you'd like. My only suggestion is when it comes to kick and bass drums, make sure that you do those mono because you're going to center those channels anyway. At least I hope you are. So we're going to connect them. So hold shift. And we're only going to connect the odds. Odd to the L. So three to four for the kick, five for the bass drum, seven for the snare, and connect our main out left for our cymbal. Okay, so now we have everything connected. The only thing we need to do now 
is load up samples. So you can uh, go through individually, click on each pad. First one's going to be a kick. So we're going to go to our kick samples here. That'll work. Now you can load all these up. I've already saved a Kong patch that has a lot of the basic samples in it. So I'm going to open that up. There it is. It says House Basic Kong. Okay, and just to give you an idea that everything works, load up uh, some kicks. Put up a snare and. And there you have it. The redrum is triggering your drum samples in Kong, and all of your mix channels are organized so that when or as you're creating, you know where all your main drum samples are and they're organized by color so therefore you're good to go another helpful tip once you do say set up a foundation of drums what I like to do is you can do you know save as and you know set it up as drum template and then you know go into whatever uh, file system that you're using and make it read only so that way whenever you open it up if you go to save it you have to do save as so that means if you're inspired to work on a new project you can load up your drum template get a beat going start working on a groove and then you can start flowing with your bass melodies from there just an idea so that way you don't stop that creative process and maintain that inspiration so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and remember, subscribe so you can stay in tune as I am creating my EP that will be released in a few months. As always, play it loud, have fun. Peace.